Hello, I'm Ozzy the Lizard with the Ozzy Report. We're live in D.C. out here in front of the U.S. Capitol building. On today's report, we will bring in a constitutional expert to talk about the recent developments in the illegal immigration debate. A little over a week ago, on February 15th, President Trump declared a national emergency to help him build his proposed border wall with the intent of stopping illegal immigration, drug cartels, and the negative and criminal activities that come from an unsecured border. So, the question is, can Trump build a wall constitutionally through the use of an emergency declaration? We go now to our constitutional correspondent from Virginia, Constitutional Conversations YouTube personality, Everett. Thank you, Ozzy. Um, so this is Everett from uh, Constitutional Conversations. Uh, and the question, as you stated, is constitutionally, can Trump build the border wall that he wants to build with an emergency declaration? Um, obviously, he uh, had an emergency declaration about a week ago um, where he declared a national emergency in order to uh, take funding from uh, different departments in the executive branch, Department of Defense, Homeland Security, etc., um, and to take funding from their, those agencies and move it to b help and build his border wall. Um, I've looked at the Constitution. I looked at uh, mainly uh, Article 1 and 2, the powers of Congress and the powers of the President. Um, honestly, the short answer to this question is no one really knows. Uh, in the Constitution, um, Article 1, Section 8, uh, there are various uh, phrases and clauses um, about Congress's power, Congress's power to repel invasions, to declare war, provide for the common defense, raise and support armies, make rules for the governing of land forces. Uh, Congress is in complete control of the military. Um, but as we know, Congress makes the laws, the president follows them. So the president is the supreme commander-in-chief, and the president executes Congress orders. So, really, it's, it's kind of vague. Um, you can't really gain anything from the literal Constitution about if uh, declaring a national emergency to build a border wall is legal or not. Um, as we know, when Congress makes a law, the president carries out that law. And so the real question is that about the many laws there are, there are laws about how the president can shut down uh, drug highways, there are laws about how the president can repel invasions, there are laws about how the president, uh, even some laws about how the president can secure the border. Um, but there are over 400,000 federal laws, and they are, they're very complicated, there are 400,000, that's a lot. Um, and so what's going to happen, people have already sued the president, which their, you know, governor of California has already sued the president, which is well within his right to do so. Um, this emergency declaration will go to court, um, and it will probably take a couple of years. They'll look through all the laws, see what laws there are that say he can or he cannot use this national emergency to build the border wall. Um, as of right now, many people have opinions, many people cite specific laws that either um, hold up the president's order or that um, take away the power of his order. And so really we just need to see what the courts will decide is really legal and is really constitutional. Um, unfortunately, this is one of those situations where the Constitution uh, doesn't clearly explain it, but the beauty of the Constitution is the laws that Congress pass passes are constitutional. And so we, the Constitution, the spirit of it, will prevail in whatever the court decides, um, and obviously we hope that the court will um, decide on what is legal and not what is their opinion. Uh, there have been cases that um, have looked a little sketchy lately, but uh, for the most part our system works pretty good, and uh, we're all hoping that um, whatever is right uh, comes out of the court case, and we're hoping that the border is also secured. Um, but that's... Yeah, so answer, no one really knows. Uh, is it constitutional to you to build the border wall? Uh, the court will decide, and we don't know much more than that right now. Um, but we are all looking forward to hearing what comes out of the case in the next uh, few, uh, couple years. So uh, thank you for uh, interviewing with me, Ozzy, um, and this is Everett from Constitutional Conversations. Remember to check out my YouTube channel, 
uh, like, comment, and subscribe.